All right, uh, this is something that uh, Carlos asked for, and so I'm going to make a video about how I play uh, Say It To Me Now, which is Glenn Hansard. It's the frames, and I think that in the Once film, Glenn takes out uh, the second verse, and he goes right into the uh, that great chorus that he's got. And so the version I do has a sec. He goes into a second verse after the first verse, and um, they're both great. Um, the key thing you need to know about this song, if you're learning to play this song, is that it is in open E. And if you want to find open E, you take a standard tuned guitar and you put your fingers down as you would to play an E major. And if you look at it, you'll see that the fifth string is going up uh, a whole step, right, right there, and the fourth string is going up a whole step, and the, what are we looking at here, uh, fifth, fourth, third string, third string is going up a half step, right, so you get this, and, and when you tune your guitar to E, you really want to get your six to E, and your one to E. Get your tuner out, get those perfect, perfectly together, or right in tune, and then you want to tune everybody else off of those, so. And it might be slightly off of what a tuner tells you, but when you do an open tuning, it allows you to really get perfectly into that key, that key of E. There's not going to be a key change. You're going to be fine in here. Um, I might be going outside of, of uh, what I'm trying to teach you, but basically when you open tune, you can really, you can really get that perfect uh, chord that you're going for. Um, so you really want to, when you look down at your guitar, you're going to see that um, there's the double dots, which is the 12th fret, and then the 9th, 7, 5, 3. So you really want to get comfortable with um, the 9, the 7, and the 5, and the 12, because the song is basically, so the 12 is going up an octave, right? And he starts the song up here, an octave up, and I've sometimes found that, that it's easier to, to lay my thumb along the side of the um, the neck of the guitar, and sometimes I don't do that, but basically what, what you're doing here is you're, is you're playing the 12th fret 2nd string, and the 12th fret 5th string. And you're playing, and you're droning that that six, that low E, right? And that's the start. And then he walks down from the eleven to the ten on the sixth string. So he's going. That's the eleven. Everything else is held down. And if you have to, if you can't make it, if you have to let go of something, let go of the uh, fifth string. If you can't keep if you can't keep a finger down on that on that fifth string, twelfth fret, that's the one that I would let go of. I would keep my pinky on that second string, twelfth fret, if you have to. And I think in the YouTube video, I don't I, do, I lift my hand up from this. It's just an octave, right? So you're, you're going to be okay. But um, he walks that down, so he's going. I don't know, he repeats that or, or he doesn't, I don't know. And then he's going, scratching at the surface now. And I'm trying hard. And then here he goes to the nine. And this is what this is a, a little bit tougher, but you want to make sure you get that nine good and solid. You want to get that. So, and I'm trying hard to work it out. So much has gone misunderstood, and this mystery only leads to doubt. 
right? So you want to get comfortable up there. You want to get comfortable with all that. That's the end of that first part. And then he goes into this shape that you want to get uh, comfortable with. And on here, you're going, uh, you're going, uh, what is this? This is third string, first fret, and then fifth string, second fret, and then sixth string, second fret. And it's this. Right? So you just get comfortable with that. Sixth, second fret, fifth, second fret, uh, <laughs> fourth open, third, first fret. You can tell I've never taught guitar. All right, so there. And then this, you keep that shape and you're gonna slide up so that the sixth string is now on the fourth fret. And then the next part of that, you're gonna go up one uh, more fret with the whole shape. And then back down a half fret back down a fret and then back to the original okay so let me just let me just play what that sounds like in the songs and I didn't understand you reached out to take my hand same if you had something to say right so that's gets you to there and then he does a different shape here, and he's going all the way up to the uh, seventh fret. And all of these are on the seventh fret, and it's three strings that you're pressing down. You're pressing down on the sixth string, seventh fret. The fifth string is open, and the fourth string, seventh fret, and third string, seventh fret. So I know it's a little bit hard to see, but those are the three strings I'm pressing down and nothing else, right? And I'm not using my pinky, I'm using uh, my index, middle, and my ring finger here. And this shape moves around too, so get comfortable with, just get comfortable with hitting that quickly. You wanna be, and, and, the fir, and if you're not gonna be able to get all of those three fingers in the, into the correct position immediately, make sure that you at least get your index finger to uh, the sixth string as fast as you can so that you're going then you can put the others down right if that makes sense so you're, you're going you better say it now right so I, I'm losing myself in the song but it's a uh, uh, and if you if you have something to say you better say it now and in my version I go back to that intro And I'm doing that. I'm not trying to pass the ball. I'm just trying to get a better look. Right? I just repeat that. I'm wondering how it feels for you. Now the shoe is on the other foot and I didn't understand. We're back to this. You reached out to take my hand. If you have something to say. And then back to this. Right? Seventh fret. You better say it now. And now we're going into that uh, that chorus, right, where he's going, because this is what you waited for. And we're back on to the twelfth fret, so we're up an octave. And he's just, he's, 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 I might not be doing this right, but what I do is I play the uh, second string twelfth fret and the fifth string twelfth fret. And I'm going, this is what you and then I think what I used to do was this. Chance to even up the score. I think that's what I used to do. I might be doing I might have done it differently on the YouTube video, but this works okay. So just walking you through this, you're going, you're going, uh and it's the, it's the second string and the fifth string on the twelfth fret. And then they're going to go up to the thirteenth fret. So it's going. And then we're dropping down to um, uh, the seventh fret. No, sorry, ninth fret. Ninth fret. And here I'm playing the sixth string, the fifth string, and the second string all on that ninth fret. To even up the 
score. And then we drop back down to that fifth fret shape that um, that we had learned before, where it's the fifth, the sixth string, the fourth string, and the third string all on the fifth fret. And then, and he just repeats that right as he's. As these shadows fall on me. Back to this. Nothing I've ever seen before. As if you had something to say. And after when you're when you're coming to the end of that, if you had something to say, say it to me now. And when you when you go to the say it to me now, you want to be on the ninth fret with that shape. So we were so on the on this on the end of that, you're going. Ninth fret on the on the six, the four, and the three. Six, four, and three. Say it to me now. And then you're just sliding that down to the fifth fret, the whole thing. And you can slide it back. Say it to me now. And the whole song repeats that until you get to, to the end where he's doing the say it to me now. Going back between those two, right? Oh, 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 oh. And when you get to that end part where it's going. That is um, the second string and the fifth string starting on the seventh fret. So, second string. And uh, fifth string, and then you go up two frets, then back down to where you started on the seventh fret, and then here, this is the only time you ever go here, you're on the fourth fret with these same two strings, and then you can end it however you want, I mean, it, it, but you can certainly end it just by playing nothing. Um, but find a fun chord you want to end on there because you're an open E and you almost can't go wrong. But that, I believe, is how I played um, Say It To Me Now by The Frames. Glenn Hansard. All right, hope that helped you. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for all your comments. Bye, guys.